Hey there, um, it's me, Andrew, as you know, ASMR Weekly, and today, um, very exciting stuff. I just want to take a look with all of you Lose. on the new, the new footage from the Hogwarts Legacy game, the new Harry Potter game. Yeah, we're just gonna take a look on all of it together. I'm gonna do some pausing and kind of analyzing what we are seeing if you want to see the full video first without me pausing everything stop this and go watch the the video yourself Yowie, wowie. or if you don't want to get any spoilers about this game and you just want to see it when you buy it and you play it then don't take a look on this so here we go uh the first um, image that we get from from Hogwarts. It looks like the Hogwarts we know, but it's very different. Like that whole area down there with the um, with this sort of I don't know fountain garden. Like this is new, um, and also just the style of it. You can see it's slightly different. The greenhouses as well over here. But I think it looks amazing. Let's keep watching here. Welcome to Hogwarts Legacy. <laughs> so here we are. Another angle. We can see the, the clock tower over here. And the wooden bridge. And again, it's like it really resembles the things that we already know. But it's slightly different. And I think that's wonderful because, you know, then... It's not just more and more of the same thing. You're a new student at the famed school of witchcraft and wizardry. And this area here really reminds me of like the um, the first games. It reminds me of the first three games in the PlayStation 2 uh, style. Like just the way they decided to go with the stairs. And it's also very similar with the... Um, like the artwork that they did in the Pottermore illustrations. So it feels like a mix of things that we know and also some new things. It's very curious actually. With a unique ability to manipulate powerful ancient magic hidden in the wizarding world, you'll need to uncover what's behind. So it's explaining a bit of the, like the story. The fate of the entire wizarding. And here we have the, um, the entrance courtyard and look at it do you see on the top like the the way they did the the age of hogwarts and over here as well we seem to have sort of a clock as well i'm not sure and you can see it's it's so much like the the movies or what you've seen in the harry potter and the order of the phoenix and the half blood prince games uh but it's different like the it's just it's just a weird feeling because you know this place, but it's also sort of new. World. But before you can study magic. And here is the Great Hall. You can tell there's a lot of um, more room on the sides here. There's other windows. And the table has this sort of um, circular shape, which is also very... Very interesting just to see how it feels like the Hogwarts we know, but it also feels like something new. So it, it's exciting, you know, to get to know all of these places in a new, different style. But before you can study magic and begin to solve these mysteries, you must create the witch or wizard you want to be. So apparently there's a lot of choices to create your avatar, your character, which is also very... I also like, I always like this on the games. And also, I spent so, such a ridiculous amount of time in these first, like, setting up your character moments in games. Uh, but it's cool that we can, you know, maybe make it look like ourselves, so that we see ourselves in Hogwarts, and then we get selected. When you arrive at Hogwarts, you will be sorted into one of the four Hogwarts houses. Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, or The Gryffindor Qu Oh my god, your... this looks beautiful! Look at this Ravenclaw common room. 
My God! It's wonder. I feel so Don't jealous right now. Up with your housemates. The slithering. It, it feels like the movie one, but also you can see, you can tell that everything is larger, which makes sense. It makes sense, right? Because there's so many students, and I always wondered how all of the years, you no, know, the students of every single year fit together inside the. <laughs> The, the Gryffindor common room because he was so tiny in the movies. In the common room, you will then need to... Here, you see, like, it's... It looks so much with the... With the movie, like, they get the same... Uh, tapestry over there. And... But it's larger, it's much bigger. And... So, it makes... It makes sense. It feels different. It feels... Familiar. I need, oh my god, I'm just getting so excited with this. Attend classes, and you do have some catching up. Oh, and the Hufflepuff one. They got a lower level, apparently. Like, two floors. Maybe all of the common rooms got this. Because, yeah, as I said, like, they need to be really big for all of the years. And they're students, right? ...to do, as you were starting Hogwarts late, as a fifth year. So you are the new student. Okay, so apparently we... We're late. <laughs> so yeah, we got here in the middle of the years. You'll begin your studies attending Charms, Defense Against the Dark Cars, her book. Oh, look at this greenhouse. It's like, it's really huge over here. Can you tell? And it's a funny coincidence because I said that I really liked um, one of the few things that you can enjoy from the Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire game. I don't remember asking you a goddamn thing. Ronald, it's already open over here. Ronald! <laughs> it's that it does have a cool aesthetic in some places, and the greenhouses had these great big greenhouse uh, towers and things. And look at this, like this is such a larger greenhouse area to explore. My god, it feels so exciting, like just the idea of walking. I, I'm going to be walking around all of this for hours and hours. And potions classes, to name a few. Here we go into the oh, a bit of classes. Class. The herbology teacher. The newest rose in our garden. Quite pretty. <laughs> Yowie, <wowie. laughs> oh, charms lessons. Okay. Now, this will be a crucial they have all of the spells uh, written in the walls, which is nice. The art of charm work, but I am confident. We will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. It seems funny, in a way. The best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Oh, there we go. So, yeah, we get a bit of dueling as well. Oh, and it floats. That's different. You may begin. Okay, those were not spells for defense only. Not bad for a beginner. Are we going to be friends with Slytherins? It does feel like it. ...is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. Here you'll meet your... Potions. Potions classroom. And again, it feels very, very familiar to what we know. Of course, the teachers, the teachers, all of them are different because this is supposed to be way, way in the past, you know? Apparently, it's the year one... 1,800? Yeah, it's way before any of the characters that we know. It's not going to be any Dumbledore, I guess, and nothing like that. It's all new, all new professors, staff, people. Professors and learn to cast spells. So there, you see the... Actually, this is the one that it's most similar to what we always seen. Like, it, it feels a bit larger, but not so much. Grow magical plants brew potions and more if they have like a potion system like in the half-blood prince that's going to be very very in interesting between. and here we get a closer look on that area which uh we saw in the beginning which is like one of the exits like over here we have the greenhouses area and then you exit the castle and we get a sort of fountain garden common area um on an exterior, like maybe just for the students to get some fresh air. And there, 
I can tell. I I really think that's the that's Hagrid's house. Uh, Hagrid's hut. It does seem like it, but it could be something else. We get the Owlery over there as well, so it's in the same direction. Like, uh, for what we already know, like what we know from him is like Hagrid's hut would be more downwards, like going down the hill, but. Maybe they changed it, you know, a lot of it, it's slightly changed in this version of Hogwarts. In classes, you'll be able to explore the castle famous for its secrets, enchantments... Oh, look at these stairs. Streets. This is clearly the way to the Gryffindor common room. And yeah, there's the fat lady. And it, it's... This is very nice about this game. Can you tell, like, it feels very realistic, like, just the wood, the stones, uh, like, everything is so well textured. And it feels like the Hogwarts aesthetic, but it also feels more like a real castle, like a medieval castle that you would see. Like, it's just slightly different. And also, they decided to change things into... More of a book accurate, accurate uh, position. The Gryffindor common room in the first two movies, they were like in a corridor like they are supposed to be. And then they changed positions to like the very top area of the, the grand staircase. The portrait would just open and there you go inside the common room. But that's not how it is. Like you, can, you need to get into the floor and walk to the corridors until you get to the portrait. Like this. You'll discover dungeons and secret Ah, come on. Uh not the dungeons again. The freaking Hogwarts dungeons. Passageways. Just like the old days, right? As well as challenging puzzles that will require magical skill and a clever mind to solve. That that looks very cool. Like it's, it's cool because it reminds us of like things from the past, like old games mixed up with these beautiful graphics from like the latest games. So it's like a mix of like the, the ultimate version in games of the Hogwarts school in the Half-Blood Prince, because that's like the most accurate version. And mixed up with the first games, which were different, and mixed up with like more book accurate things. So <laughs> it's like, it's the perfect mix. It's like finding out the Hogwarts experience all you over again. Find yourself in iconic locations. All the elves in the kitchen, the Hogwarts kitchens, we never seen this. The Prefect's bathroom, of course. This looks like the Pottermore version of the illustrations. It's the late 1800s, so while the common rooms and classes may be familiar... Yeah, so you see like the late 1800... And here's another vision of the um, Slytherin common room, looking very, very nice. Most of your professors will not be. However, you may recognize a few faces. Ah, all in good fun. Oh, there we go, nearly headless Nick. Uh, that one is around. <laughs> uh, how long has it been around? This offering is sure to win them over. Oh, don't forget why I'm here, sir. A bit more of a classroom. ...and wizards in class and while completing side assignments. This is like that area that... It's not the main entrance. It's when you take the little bridge to go to the other side. And that leads you into, like, potions if you go under. And if you go up, there's, like, the tapestry corridor you know where snape gets harry walking around in the middle of the night with the marauders map curriculum one's designed to help you catch up with the other fifth years at your own speed there's hagrid's hut definitely hagrid's hut so yeah it's over there now uh much closer and we're just practicing some spells flying can we fly then properly activities for adventure abound in the area surrounding hogwarts the magical abilities you learn to master through your schoolwork will soon become tested as you unravel a dangerous mystery by working alongside the accomplished and yet enigmatic Professor Fig. So there's like... So we can actually leave Hogwarts and go into these quests and like these exploration adventures. So it's much bigger than maybe we all thought. 
I knew they were going to do Hogsmeade as well. And I and that's going to show up somewhere in this video. But yeah, there's even more. They're like places to find out to try and discover if the rumors of a mounting goblin rebellion hold any weight and if the safety of hogwarts lies and apparently the great enemies on this game are the goblins <laughs> they just i don't know what they want but yeah curious choice of a uh, villain so much more than people realize the wizarding world and here we see more of the dungeons if this is on hogwarts i swear it's given me giving me flashbacks from those dungeons challenges like where the teachers you hey go grab that spell book down there try not to die <laughs> it's outrageous it's unthinkable uh, okay not good are you crazy not good are you out of your mind no god this is just brilliant no god <laughs> please no oh my god no! what is this the torches and the no, cauldrons are turning god. against us. Why? Why no, are you? Oh my god! god what please, is this? No, no! But I think they are going to have a different excuse to send us here. This era is fraught with dangers. Creatures corrupted by a magical force, powerful goblins, and sinister witches and wizards, all willing to fight, even kill, to achieve. Their There's like people which are being dominated by some sort of. You can tell there's like a red thing around them. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Oh, is that me? <laughs> yeah, so yeah, there's like goblins plotting to do something. And there's a sort of, I don't know if they cast it, but there's some sort of dark magic thing. Kind of like Imperius also gets into wizards and goblins and... Who is this child? Are you not telling me? But perhaps you shouldn't involve yourself with that just yet. Let's go. We are in Hogsmeade at this part, I think. So look at this. Look how, how, how cool that this does this feel like. Like it's oh, it's just wonderful. It's like I can't even put it into words. Like like a very cool fantasy adventure game. It's beyond Hogwarts, Hogsmeade. You get lots of places. Yeah. Okay, a bit exaggerated. Very powerful wizard we have over here. Uh, but very cool. There again, we're fighting some sort of possessed wizard. Enemies possess unique defensive and a troll. Abilities, Fight a troll. Curses, stunning spells. These ones are looking funny. All dressed up like for carnival or something. Um, allows you to deflect ranged spells and direct weapons. So there's a very cool dueling system as well. Different from everything we've seen. Do you see that? Like take the the barrel, throw it. Extended spell combination. You can block and repel spells. It feels very dynamic. It feels like it's going to be a lot of fun dueling in these games. You'd be good enough to oh, no. each other to pieces on your own time. Okay. To what is this place? This seems like a little area of a common room or something. No. No, it feels like maybe um, a professor's office or a common room. Like, I can't tell if it's like Gryffindor, Ravenclaw or anything like that. But it has lots of elements here. You can see one of those creatures from the new Fantastic Beasts. They are merging quite well the Harry Potter and the Fantastic Beasts franchise into this because you can see there's lots of creatures to learn about, also to fight with. You'll have access to a deep set of upgrades, talents and skills okay, to yes. your progression as a wizard. The skills and the abilities like any sort of like RPG game or something. I n I'm never good at like choosing these, I've just... Get some points and I, you know, buy the abilities, whatever. I, I have no idea about, about like skill trees and etc. Complete challenges throughout the world. Oh, here we experience. have one of those Level up your courtyards. By choosing talent. Let me look at Challenger. that again. Yeah, this is the, this is supposed to be, I believe, the, the astronomy tower. But that's not how it's called. It's called the Transfiguration Courtyard. Yeah, yes. Yeah, I think it is. ...is throughout the world to earn experience. 
Level up your abilities by choosing talents to upgrade your spells. And here we Chance. got invisible without. You just turn invisible without an invisibility cloak. How do you do that? Potions to increase their power. Decide which talents best fit your playstyle. To uh, and we are just turning people into stones. I guess that's Petrificus Totalis, but you actually turn people into stone. How you to focus on your favorite types of magic. You can also loot chest or craft your own magical gift. It wouldn't be a proper game without chests to collect in the middle of nowhere. Collecting some weird plants over here. Okay. Graded and specialized to allow for greater abilities for your chosen playstyle. Use a strong, even motion when cutting your. Oh, here's a bit of potion making. So it seems like they are going to do a bit of that sort of half blood prince gameplay like mixing up steering adding ingredients your magical education at hogwarts progressing your development as a witch or wizard and there we turned ourselves into stone with a potion can we just like point the wand at ourselves and go like petrificus totalis brew potions that can increase your power when you need a boost oh i guess not because yeah then we will be falling into the ground and over here we are stone but we are moving I don't know. It's the wizarding world. Don't ask me to make sense out of it. So we just kind of get more resistance, etc., etc. deploy magical plants to mob the battlefield and keep your enemies at bay. What? What is? Oh, we're using plants to attack them. Mandrake seedlings to incapacitate. Using a mandrake as a weapon. Okay, now that's creative. Like, just take it out of the pot and. But I mean, we would need to be using, you know, protection on our ears. Unsuspecting enemies. In Beast class, you will learn about a variety. Here's the cute little creature, very famous, the Niffler from the Fantastic the Beast movies. Beasts you might encounter, both at school and as you Here's another one. Surrounding the castle and its grounds. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on. <laughs> so we finally get we finally get like the same way of broom flying from the first games where you could just fly around all of Hogwarts in a new game like because they didn't do that in any of the latest games that we had from Harry Potter and now we have it here my god damn my family is never going to see me again because I'm just going to be flying around everywhere or walking because you know like just to appreciate every single detail. I want you to do my herbology homework. You're despicable. Oh, another so look at the Gryffindor common room. Again, it feels so much like what we know, but it's larger and slightly different. But I am loving this. I truly, I truly, I, I'm, I'm so fascinated to just explore all of this new version of Hogwarts. Like, I don't mind that it's not exactly the same as the movies. Some abilities may be taught to you by students who become your friends. As you develop Wait, I'm gonna be able to have friends? Finally! Relationships with these schoolmates, they can accompany Oh, here you. it's some sort of gate outside of Hogwarts. I don't know if, if it's like the area that we go to Hagrid's hut, or the, do you get to see anything there? I don't know where this leads. Maybe it's the exit that gets you into the road to the Hogsmeade city. And over time, you'll learn their stories. This is our chance. It seems like we have a good um, story plot, you know, that we are going to follow, which I actually love. I'm not such a big fan of very big open world games where you just walk around everywhere, like doing significant things like you know like missions oh i lost my my owl can you find it for me and then you walk around the whole castle to find the owl imagine if they did that to this i guess there's going to be like some small quests and but you have a main story to follow if you want poppy sweeting has a kind heart and loves magical beasts connecting with oh look at that than with humans. she's a real hufflepuff <laughs> unafraid of detention or breaking the rules oh is that peeves I think that's Peeves, and he looks weird. He looks creepy, in a way. Uh, too colorful. Way too colorful. King in the restricted section again. 
is Sebastian Salo, a charismatic Slytherin. We've been over this boy. And yeah, apparently you're going to be friends with the the Slytherin. He's, he is like a sort of main character in the story. Accept that reality, the better. You'll meet these students. This area here, I have no idea, but it's some sort of Hogwarts corridor. You have some like some musical instruments over here which is interesting there's lots of places that we are probably going to find out which are new that we haven't seen in games before we see a little bit in the the first games the muggle studies if you watched my gameplay series we see some muggle studies and places that we didn't see in movies for example but they are going to get all of this i guess now in this new more you know enhanced gra graphics and better design and more as you explore common rooms, hallways between classes, and look at this. Regular. This is the great staircase right here. It's sort of, you know, the pieces of the stair just come in as you walk. You can tell all of the portraits around. Classes and regular gathering areas. Okay, so it's also different from the version that we are used to, but and it has this kind of circular shape. Which I like it. Yes. The room of requirements. This might be one of the most exciting, curious things that we are going to, to see on this. Welcome to the room of requirement. Because, look at it. It's like your own personal space. One of the most remarkable secrets of Hogwarts is known as the Room of Requirement. You get a bit of everything you need, you know, like maybe this place can be very well, you know, adapted to you. You can build it the way you want to. There, like we are placing a potion table over there so we can use it. Space that seems to sense what you they need. They have some plants growing up here, mandrakes. And then provides it for you. Okay. I feel like they gave the room of requirement kind of the same uh, vibe as Newt Scamander's suitcase, you know, like that you get inside and you get all of these little areas, you know. Since you need to catch up to your peers, the room provides space for you to sow and harvest plants, brew potions and upgrade your gear. So you see like we get a little bit of everything in there. We also get the the version of the hidden things, uh, room of requirements, just the big piles of stuff. A helpful house elf named Deke helps you discover vivariums that allow you to nurture your own menagerie of magical beasts. But apparently you get our own sort of room, which we just build up with like, oh, this little greenhouse for me, this little potion area, this area of books maybe. Deke isn't sure. Only one way to find out. You can freely customize this space to reflect your personality and magical specialties. There you see like it's a whole world inside of one space. It's that kind of weird stuff bigger on the inside. We can have a cat apparently. We can have cats. Beyond the castle walls. Not everything you need on your journey oh, is Oh, here we see a bit of Hogsmeade station. It looks more as in the first movies, the little red bridge, because they changed that in the later movies. It's available at Hogwarts. You'll want to visit the nearby wizarding village of Hogsmeade. The entrance to Hogsmeade. Also, the craziest thing that we could possibly <laughs> imagine. It's not snowing in Hogsmeade. Where loads of shops at least not in this footage. Like... I always thought that it was snowing the whole day in Hogsmeade. And in fact, it is in the movie universe. If I'm not mistaken, they say in one of the behind of the scenes that they decided to do that and make Hogsmeade to be always, always snowy. Uh, but it's not actually like that, apparently. Uh, there are occasions in like the books where you go to Hogsmeade and it's not in winter time, so that's no, that's no snow. So we sort of get shops here as well. And recipes. Kind of like a diagon alley, but closer to Hogwarts. Of gear. <laughs> Look at those clothes, ridiculous. It also has its dangerous side. 
a band of dark witches. So yeah, apparently that's a sort of bad guy from the main storyline. And we have encounters and need to fight him and his minions, I guess. As you explore, look at this view of Hogwarts. Surrounding Hogwarts is alive with time passing, wonders and areas of unusual interest. If As we get like a very nice day night cycle where you just like ex exploring around and the time of the day is passing, that's going to feel so interesting. And here we get a bit of snow. And I guess this is the path to Hogsmeade, so yeah, we're also going to get it in a snowy version. The school year progresses, dynamic seasons and climates will fill the sky with lightning or sunshine. Or yeah, you see how, how nice so we get all of the seasons as well. Unique wizarding hamlets pepper the countryside. This flying thing is going to be so cool, I think. Be on the lookout for enchanting magical puzzles that may very well have been designed by Merlin himself. <laughs> by Merlin himself. Magical beasts roam the lands outside the castle. Big, scary toad. No, God, please, of course. No, no. Some have been corrupted by a mysterious dark magic. While others oh, are at risk. the cute little things from Fantastic Beasts as well. And we got a suitcase. We have a suitcase as well. So yeah, they are completely merging these new ideas uh, from the Fantastic Beasts movies into this game as well. You can rescue them and restore them to health in the Room of Requirement. And then we take them to the Room of Requirement, which is kind of like just walking inside our suit magical suitcase. But there are dangers beyond. Oh, this is Gringotts. So we also get to see Gringotts, apparently. We didn't see anything of Diagon Alley here. Maybe they're keeping that a secret, but I'm sure we are going to go to Diagon Alley as well. Your understanding Hopefully. in the world as well. Dungeons and vaults hold perilous threats and also untold rewards. Be careful where you choose to explore, as it may lead you down a darker path. Oh no! Maybe we can go down the path of the dark wa dark arts as well. Come a dark wizard. Befriend new allies. Journey across a landscape never seen before. It's so my god! It's so exciting. Like wizard, you want to be as you leave Oh, look at this! Mark. Look at the Hogwarts castle once more. You can tell, like. It feels like the one we know, but you can tell a bit of the, the style of the stone, uh, the colors being a bit darker and something. It's like it has a bit more of a gothic. On the wizarding world. But it's so, so cool. In Hogwarts. And flying on a hippogriff. Legacy. That was, ah, uh, that was all of it. That's all they showed. But it's quite a lot already. Let me just take a look at the, the last scene again. It feels like it's going to be a very cool game for all styles. Like, it has a very nice storyline, which you can follow. And also has this very big world to explore, so sort of like RPG. You can build up your character. You can go to different houses. Ravenclaw, Slytherin, whatever one. And you can also, apparently, I, I'm guessing because of that Avada Kedavra thing, that you can choose to be a good wizard or a dark art uh, magic wizard. I, I'm trying not to get too, too excited, you know. Keep the expectations low because it seems like it's going to be brilliant. What we all have been waiting for for a long time. But also, let's not get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> You're aiming too high, Harry. Keep your expectations low, and nothing is ever going to hurt you. What? Okay, the game can change when it comes out. That happens. But yeah, I can't wait to, like, play this game with you. Because I'm surely going to, you know, record videos, gameplays of this game. And if you cannot play this, you're going to be able to watch it with me and just experience this. A lot of people were saying that this was for the PS5. It is not. It's not for just for the PS5. It also will be for the PS4 and it will be for computer and Xbox. It's for all platforms. It's like it's not an exclusive game. 
No. So yeah, it makes it easier for all people to play it. So... <sighs> well, that was it. Well, I hope you enjoyed taking a look on this with me. It's really, really cool. I'm really excited for this. Let's see how this plays out.